to loosen up your bladder in a hurry. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this week's installment of New South Championship Wrestling. This is Michael Graham, the commissioner of New South. And, of course, we hand it over now as you see Dante and Terry England in the ring going at it. Terry England with the early with the early advantage in this one over Dante. And, ladies and gentlemen, we turn it over now to the voice of New South Championship Wrestling, Mr. Terry Rice. Thank you, Michael Graham, very, very much. And fans, as he said, welcome into New South Championship Wrestling. A great match in the ring right now. The Devil's Disciple, Dante, and Terry England. Both men moving very, very fast. England now with the uh, bar on the arm of Dante. Cat Taylor accompanying, of course, Dante to the ring. Always have problems when Cat Taylor's at ringside. Dante making his way back now to his feet. One of the most vicious wrestlers in New South are in wrestling all over. There's no one more vicious than Dante. This young man, uh, Terry England, kind of new to the biz, but he's coming along fine. Leapfrogging over Dante. Drop kick, Dante down. Arm drag, and he bars the arm again. New South Championship Wrestling live every Thursday night at New South Arena right here at Fifth and Willow in Nashville, Tennessee. If you have not been to New South Arena, fans, you have missed a treat. You have missed the action of wrestling in Nashville, New South Championship Wrestling. Dante going to work now on Terry England while Cat Taylor keeps the referee occupied. Dante tossing England onto the floor, following him out now on the far side of the ring. This is always trouble going down. Looks like he put a boot to Terry England's back, pulling England down to his feet and slams him into the ring post on this side. Referee still occupied by Cat Taylor. As we said, anytime you have Cat Taylor ringside, big body slam on the concrete floor here at New South Arena. We said anytime you have Cat Taylor at ringside, you have a problem, and we saw it happen right, right there. New South Championship Wrestling live and direct every Saturday here on this television and every Thursday night live at the arena. We want you to be here. Call your neighbors, tell your friends. Come down and see the greatest action in wrestling here in Nashville, Tennessee. England still on the floor. Dante now pulling him back up to the apron of the ring. Drapes that throat down over the top rope. England back to the floor. Referee now has his back to the action on the floor as Cat Taylor puts that case up uh, to the back of his head. And of course, Dante doesn't know anything about that, does he? Now pulling uh, Terry England back into the ring as Cat Taylor once again has the referee clothesline and England goes down hard count of one count of two he kicks out you won't cover anybody like that you have to hook that leg now referee will be checking here this could go into a choke very very easily Dante wearing his man down what a competitor Dante is and this Terry England what a great young man he is raising the arm up there once he dropped there's twice three times is it then he whoa he holds it up he's not ready to quit yet didn't think he was Terry England, one of the rising up-and-coming stars in New South Championship Wrestling. You're going to see a lot of great things for this young man. Holding his own with Dante so far. Dante has been around for many, many years. Has wrestled all over the world. Made his home now in New South Championship Wrestling. Elbows to the midsection of Dante before he takes a handful of hair and throws England into the mat. Backs England into the ropes, puts him across the ring. That big boot into the midsection, and England is down hard in the middle of the ring. Getting to his feet slowly. Across the back of the head of Dante, another one. Taylor again up on the apron of the ring. England into the ropes. Monkey flip, small package, we'll see. He got him rolled up, there it is, now one, two. And just before the count of three, Dante breaks loose. Finger jab to the throat of Terry England. He'll wear his man down. You'll watch Dante in a match. He just systematically wears his opponent down. Draping England over that top rope again and slings him off the ropes with the top strand of rope during the referee's count. Great crowd on hand here tonight at New South Championship Wrestling. Whipping England into the ropes. Dante follows him in, misses. Big punches to the side of Dante's head. Boot to the midsection. Now he whips Dante across, goes in, big monkey flip across. Dante into the middle. 
to his feet, back into the ropes, and across he goes. Close lines, Dante down. Cat Taylor now going up to the... Wait a minute, Dante loading that boot. Oh, and up to the side of the head. There's the cover. Let's see what happens. One, two, three. There's your winner, fans. That is Dante. He covers, but that boot is controversial. You may have saw him kick it and move it, but the winner is, nonetheless, right now, is Dante. And your winner, the Devil's Disciple, Dante. Ladies and gentlemen, Thursday, November 6th is the date. 7.30 is the time. New South Arena is the place. It's New South Championship Wrestling. Simply the only game in town. Main event at New South this week. Tracy Smothers has come into New South Championship Wrestling. He has signed a long-term contract. Cat Taylor seems to think he finally has the man that's going to take care of business against Stephen Dunn and Reno Riggins. Tracy Smothers will team up with the Sheep to take on those two gentlemen. In tag team action, the belts are not on the line because the Wild Boys are back in town, but they have not actually fought in a match to become a contender. This is their chance to be the number one contender as they take on the champions, the original sexy things made up, of course, of Tony Falk and Farron Fox. It will be mask versus title. The Nazi terror came into the ring after Ashley Hudson once again successfully defended his title against the career ender of the Cat Taylor and Richard Lowe. Ladies and gentlemen, the Nazi terror may have stuck his nose into where it should not have belonged. Ashley Hudson put the belt up, but only on the contingency that if the Nazi terror loses to Ashley Hudson, he must remove his mask. A special challenge match now. Dante, the Devil's Disciple, will be taking on the Comet. Chris Michaels should be a very interesting one. Contrasting styles in that one. It will be Mike Samples, a newcomer, taking on the Boogie Woogie Boy, Gary Valiant. Big John White against Kroll, the Death Stalker. I hope the ring is still standing after that one. A lot of beef in the ring. And it will be Bill Manson, another newcomer, taking on Sean Venom. Wait till you see Sean Venom's partner. You don't want to miss that one. Ladies and gentlemen, Thursday, November 6th at 7.30, the bell time, New South Arena. Everybody knows where it is. It's the 5th and Woodland Corner, right there at the end of Woodland Street Bridge. You've got to be there. You've got to experience New South Championship Wrestling Live this Thursday night. Be there. The deal of the week time from LNW Auto Sales. Check it out. This is truly a collector's item. Pontiac Tempest circa 1962 convertible. Look at this beautiful interior. It's a baby blue beauty and it can be yours. Drive it off the lot. $6,500 cash. Are you kidding me? A collector's item. $6,500 cash. LNW Auto Sales. The phone number 227-14. 27. The address is 1216 Gallatin Road. You go down there and see Wayne or Linda. They're going to take care of you. That's your deal of the week from L&W Auto Sales. Right now we're going to go back in time to last Thursday night at New South Arena and check out what had the New South fans on their feet. Check out the sequence of events that happened here that brings Ben Jordan back to the Wild Boys. Whipping Frankensteiner. Jordan whipped into the ropes and came off to a Frankensteiner. Michael's looking at a box that's already been uh, disposed of. Now going to that fourth box. What's he find in there? A chain. And he can use it legally, fans, wrapping that chain around his fist and can use it legally. Ooh, and down goes Jordan hard. One fist to the top of the head. Jordan goes down hard. Now cat's... Uh, Chris Michaels drops the chain in the center of the ring, going to that top rope. What's he going to do here? Elbow. Now covering. There's the count. One, two, three. Ladies and gentlemen, Chris Michaels has won this Halloween trick-or-treat match over Ben Jordan. There's your winner, Chris Michaels. Ben Jordan. Chris Michaels went at it for a long time, and finally Chris Michaels took the measure of Jordan after that big elbow from the top rope. Jordan and Cat Taylor in the center of the ring now. They had a little confrontation at the beginning of the match before the uh, camera started rolling because Cat Taylor renamed Ben Jordan Macho Man, not Wild Boy. Ben wasn't really happy about that. Now Cat Taylor, oh, pushed to the floor by Ben Jordan. Fans are liking this. Richard Lowe into the ring. Now he's trying to cool Ben Jordan off a little bit. Let's see what's going on. Cat Taylor rubbing his back. He just pushed down hard. A close line for Richard Lowe. Fans are loving this. Here comes Farron Fox. Farron Fox 
Double chop to the back of the head. Tony Fox says, now, wait a minute, what's going on? Hold up here. He tries to stop. Now, Jordan has the case that Cat Taylor normally carries. Tony Falk trying to make peace with everybody in the ring. Holding his hands up, saying, hold on, Ben. Pushing back, Farron Fox, Cat Taylor, and Richard Lowe in the ring. They're calling for their life because Jordan has that weapon in his hand. He's hot. Tony Falk now trying to be the peacemaker. And now talking to Jordan, saying, look, this can't be going on. we got to stick together here. Cat Taylor picking up his case that he carries around. Now they're all talking to Jordan. They're trying to give Jordan their point of view about what's going on here. As we said, Jordan came in not real happy already because of the name change. Now Jordan and talking to all four of the men. Tony Falk doing the talking as he tries to convince Jordan everything is okay. Hunky dory. Farron Fox, Tony Falk, Farron Fox, Farron Fox, clothesline spin Jordan from the back. Tony Falk and Fox now putting the boost to Jordan's back. Richard Lowe, Cat Taylor, they're all on top of Jordan. All four of them are working Jordan over in the ring. This has got to stop. Ben Jordan left line now. Tony Falk down, down, across the back with that case as Farron Fox takes it, hands it back to Cat Taylor. Tony Falk holding Ben Jordan up. Now they're beating, they're beating Ben Jordan with that uh, case. Now they're deciding to leave the ring. Ben Jordan left in the center of the ring, face down. down. They collide in the center of the ring. Both men are down. Both men are down. Referee counting on both of them. The count of four. Barrett Fox is moving already. Gary Valiant still laying out in the middle of the ring. There's the tag. In comes Tony Falk. And Gary Vane could have been playing possum because as soon as Falk came in, there's a tag. Here comes Crow the Nest Stalker. Headbutt for Falk. Headbutt for Fox. Headbutt. And another. They're both down. Tony Falk back to his feet. Another headbutt for Tony Falk. Backs him into the ropes. Flips him in over and a big back body drop. A really high one. A boot to the midsection of Farron Fox. He whips Fox into the ropes as well. Hip toss. Crow the Nest Stalker. Fist to the side of Tony Falk's head. Tony Falk now going to his tights, brings out what looks to be a chain, wraps that chain around his fist, and he was going to hit Gary Valiant with it. Gary Valiant hit him, and now Valiant has the chain, and he uses it on. He uses it on Tony Falk. Referee sees the chain. Now what's going to happen? Referee sees the chain, and the referee is calling for the bell. The referee calling for the bell. He has disqualified the team of the beauty, I'm sorry, the boogie and the beast. Ladies and gentlemen, by disqualification, your winners, the original Sexy Things. And again, the winners of the match, by disqualification, the original Sexy Things, Tony Falk and Farron Fox, and our manager, of course, is Richard Lowe. Farron Fox asked for the mic. Let's listen in. <laughs> the Wild Boys, Steve Neely, along with Ben Jordan. They are wrapping up Tony Falk and Farron Fox. Steve Neely, I thought he'd retired. He's here tonight. And the fans are going nuts. The Wild Boys are back together, it looks like here. They ram Falk and Fox into each other. Ladies and gentlemen, what a surprise for this crowd tonight. The Wild Boys, Ben Jordan and Steve Neely. Ladies and gentlemen. Let me tell you something, Tony Falk, Fran Fox. I'm tired of the syndicate. I'm tired of letting some weasel manager like Cat Taylor tell me what to do. And then you want to come out there, turn your back on me, jump me like that when I was, I was getting rid of the managers. You guys know better than the rest of them. You jump me and you see who I call. Tell them, Steve. As you can see, it's just a phone call away. I'm glad old Ben called me because I've been wanting to get a hold of Tony Falk and Farron Fox for a long time. Next Thursday night, you people come on out and see because it's going to be a butt kicking of their life. See you next Thursday. Ladies and gentlemen, Thursday, November 6th is the date. 7.30 is the time. New South Arena is the place. It's New South Championship Wrestling. 
simply the only game in town. Main event at New South this week. Tracy Smothers has come into New South Championship Wrestling. He has signed a long-term contract. Cat Taylor seems to think he finally has the man that's going to take care of business against Stephen Dunn and Reno Riggins. Tracy Smothers will team up with the Sheep to take on those two gentlemen. In tag team action, the belts are not on the line because the Wild Boys are back in town, but they have not actually fought in a match to become a contender. This is their chance to be the number one contender as they take on the champions, the original sexy things made up, of course, of Tony Falk and Farron Fox. It will be mass versus title. The Nazi terror came into the ring after Ashley Hudson once again successfully defended his title against the career ender of the Cat Taylor and Richard Lowe. Ladies and gentlemen, the Nazi terror may have stuck his nose into where it should not have belonged. Ashley Hudson put the belt up, but only on the contingency that if the Nazi terror loses to Ashley Hudson, he must remove his mask. A special challenge match now. Dante, the Devil's Disciple, will be taking on the Comet. Chris Michaels should be a very interesting one. Contrasting styles in that one. It will be Mike Samples, a newcomer, taking on the Boogie Woogie Boy, Gary Valiant. Big John White against Kroll, the Death Stalker. I hope the ring is still standing after that one. A lot of beef in the ring. And it will be Bill Manson, another newcomer, taking on Sean Venom. Wait till you see Sean Venom's partner. You don't want to miss that one. Ladies and gentlemen, Thursday, November 6th at 7.30, the bell time, New South Arena. Everybody knows where it is. It's the 5th and Woodland Corner, right there at the end of Woodland Street Bridge. You've got to be there. You've got to experience New South Championship Wrestling Live this Thursday night. Be there. Run right now and get a paper and pencil. Take down the phone number on your screen, 228 Five two four nine. That's the number to K and D Auto Sales at 1218 Gallatin Road. And if you haven't gone down there to see Jay or TJ about your next new car, well, you've just been wasting time. Jay or TJ, they're going to make you an offer you can't refuse. K and D Auto Sales, 228 5249 1218 Gallatin Road is the address. They are waiting for you. Your next car is waiting for you right there at K and D Auto Sales. Last Thursday night, our main event was Stephen Dunn and Reno Riggins back in the ring with Frank Morell in their corner, taking on the team of the Syndicate, the Sheik and the Masked Man, the Convict, with Cat Taylor in their corner. Once again, Frank Morell would play a big part in the outcome of this match, but take a look at what happens to Frank after the match is over. Tag team action in the ring here at New South Arena. This big grudge tag team battle has been brewing over the last few weeks. Mystery partner after mystery partner. Last week it was a Louisville Slugger ball bat for Stephen Dunn. This week, the Sheik has brought in a mystery partner called the Convict from the Riverbend Correctional Farm. We don't know much about him except that he is the Convict. Cat Taylor bringing in a partner for the Sheik, the Wiley veteran from the Middle East. He whips Reno Riggins. Now there's a reversal. The Sheik into the ropes, hip toss by Reno Riggins. Reno Riggins was out with an injury, back now, and a big body slam. Look at this. Whoa, what a slam. And the cover, the count of one, and the count of two, and he's kicked off. Reno Riggins back after a week's absence because of injury. His team, uh, of course, his partner is Stephen Dunn. Hip toss across the ring by Reno Riggins. Dunn and Riggins accompanied to the ring by the legendary referee, Frank Morrell. It's Frankensteiner time. Here it goes. There's a cover. One, two, and the Sheik rolls Reno off. There's the tag. In comes the convict. He swings at Reno, goes up. There's a big atomic drop. That'll hurt your glutamus maximus. Putting the convict out on the floor. And there's one for the Sheik as well. Reno Riggins and Stephen Dunn fired up. And draping the Sheik across that top rope and going for a ride. Oh, my goodness. I'll let that action speak for itself. What a great crowd here at New South Arena fans. If you haven't been, we need you to come on down and be a part of this fantastic action and excitement. Every Thursday night, doors open at 6.30, bell time 7.30. New South Arena located at 5th and Woodland. Write this number down if you have any questions, you need directions or whatever. Information about the cards and events coming up here, 664-2388. That's the hotline number, 24 hours a day, 664-2388. Call it often. Now the convict headlock on Reno Riggins. Riggins back in convict then. Then there was a tag. Reno down, leg trip, leg drop on the convict's head. 
Referee didn't see the tag. What's he going to do? He asked, and he's letting the tag stand. Reno on the apron of the ring. Stephen Dunn now in with the convict. Back in the convict, into the ropes. There's the tag. Great tag team action. Leapfrog and a clothesline for the convict. You're seeing great tag team action. Execution right here with the team. With the team of uh, uh, Reno Riggins and Stephen Dunn. puts the convict over. Oh, and a drop kick to the back of the head as the convict sat in the center of the ring. There's the tag. In comes Stephen Dunn. Double whip across. And two big punches to the face of the convict. Reno Riggins back to the apron of the ring. Stephen Dunn, a big fist to the top of the convict's head. There's a headlock. Backs into the ropes. Whip across the ropes. Convict goes down. And the Sheik Oh, grabbed Stephen Dunn, and then Stephen elbowed the Sheik, but when he came off, he got a big clothesline from the convict. Referee trying to get this action broken up. Convict has Stephen Dunn in the corner, pounding on the head. The Sheik holding him as he does. Cat Taylor cheering him on. Reno Riggins gets into the ring now to try to break it up. Referee running him back. There's a switch. The Sheik in. The convict now holding Stephen Dunn while the Sheik does his dirty work. He said, yes, we made a tag. I don't think the referee saw the tag, but nevertheless, it stands. Stephen Dunn now out on the arena floor. Cat Taylor around, puts the boots to the uh, back of Stephen Dunn. Frank Morrell making his way around now to protect Stephen Dunn. And there, you see the convict as he does a double axe to the back of Stephen Dunn. The Sheik now, after Dunn rolls back in, puts the knee and the leg to the throat of Dunn. Reno Riggins trying to... Now, Dunn needs to make that tag if he possibly can. Goes to the wrong corner. Oh, my goodness. And now makes that tag. The referee saw it. Here comes Reno Riggins. He's fired up. There's one for the convict. There's one for the Sheik. Another for the convict. The Sheik back up, and he whips the Sheik into the ropes. Drop kick for the Sheik. He's down. Into the midsection of the convict. A drop kick for the convict. He's down. Reno Riggins wearing him out. Pulling the convict to his feet. Winding that big fist up, and there's the big punch, too. Boxing style, three. Reno, oh, Reno went to the ropes, tried to fall off the ropes. Cat Taylor grabs the ankle of Reno Riggins. And when Reno diverts his attention to Cat Taylor, the convict came up behind him, and now there's a big slam right there. Stephen Dunn around the sheet, trying to run him back around. What action, fans? What action going on here at New South Arena? And it happens every Thursday night. You don't want to miss it. The Sheik and Stephen Dunn. Frank Morrell took care of the convict in there. One, two, and three. There's your winner. There's your winner. Reno Riggins and Stephen Dunn. And ladies and gentlemen, there's your winner. Reno Riggins and Stephen Dunn. Frank Morrell now has Cat Taylor. Has Cat Taylor in the corner, winding up. He's going to give you what for. He drags him out, slapping Cat Taylor. Said you should never have gotten involved. Now the convict, oh, the convict, two big punches to Frank Morrell. Frank bounced off those ropes and shows you how it's supposed to be done. He wears out the Sheik. Now the Sheik is down, the convict is down. Here comes the legend Tony Falk. He hits the t legend Tony Falk. Big John White comes in. He meets a fist for Frank Morrell. There's one for the Sheik. Farron Fox gets one. Frank Morrell cleaning house at New South Arena. Now, taking the Sheik and the convict, crashing their heads together. They're both down, raising his hand. There's the claw. He puts the finger up for the claw. Let's see what happens. There it is. There's the hole that Frank Morrell was known for in his wrestling days. The claw. What strength that man has is in his hands. He has the claw on the Sheik, and he has it wrapped on tight. The convict is in there and meets a boot to the middle section. There's a claw for the convict. Frank Morrell has the convict in a claw. It's action all over the place. As Reno Riggins hits the Nazi tear, he hits Tony Funk. Now, now, Frank Morrell going after that hood. Going after that. He takes it off. That is, that is, who is it? We can't get a good vantage point from this angle from where we're standing, who it is. There's a camel clutch on Frank Morrell. 
Got to get some help out here for Frank Morrell, the Sheik getting that camel clutch on. That's been his big hole for many, many years. When he puts that on you effectively, you're out of business. The bell sounds, trying to get some help out here for Frank Morrell. The Sheik has him. Here comes Stephen Dunn. Here comes Reno Riggins back into the ring. The Sheik hits the floor, and wisely, I might add. The convict covering his head up. Hey, Reno Riggins, Stephen Dunn. First, you ran off Billy Joe Travis. No big loss. Second, you run out of Flash Flanagan. That's okay. He was just here to get one thing in. He's gone. Then, you ran off Wolfie Day. Okay, you almost had me there. Almost. Because I was expecting a little more out of Wolfie. And then, tonight, you unmasked the convict. Well, that's okay, too. Because I have a long-term contract coming in with Tracy Smothers, the wild-eyed southern boy, the baddest man in Dixieland. That's right, Tracy Smothers. He won't be here just one week. He'll be here every week. Him and the Sheik, they're here to make your lives miserable. They're going to get me title gold eventually, but only until after we've taken care of you two punks. Cat Taylor, Sheik, guess what? Rio Reyes, I'm back. I'm back in New South Championship Wrestling. Hey, brother, always remember, tough times don't last. Tough people do, and I'm as tough as they come, and so is my partner, Steve. And a few weeks ago, you go out and you hire yourself some hired henchmen. You go out and you hire Billy Joe Travis. God. Then you go out and you hire Flash Flanagan. God. Then you go out and you hire Wolfie D. God. Brother, just like the Cleveland Indians, three strikes, you're out. But this time, oh, this time you go out and you think you've hired yourself a true Southern stud in the name of Tracy Smothers, the original wild-eyed Southern boy. Well, let me tell you something, wild-eyed Southern boy. I relish the fact that you're coming to New South Championship Wrestling because the Sheep and Cat Taylor, we're going to be all just all losing with just to want to hurt somebody. Now, tonight you try to hurt my friend Frank Morrell. Frank Morrell's been around this business forever. He's an icon in this business that's not even recognized. But tonight, ladies and gentlemen, what the Sheik did and what Cat Taylor did was just despicable. You tell him, Steve. Let me tell you something, brother. Frank Morrell's only been a mentor, a trainer, and a teacher to me. He's been a friend, best friend, and he's been like a father. Now, Tracy Smothers, you picked a real bad time to sign into New South Wrestling. You bring it on, son. We went up and down the roads together. We fought together, and I can damn sure fight you. Now, you want a piece of us? You say it's always business. Well, not this time. Now, it's getting personal. I'm telling you something. This is for Frank. He's going to be back. It may not be next week. It may not be the week after that, but he'll be back. You guys are going to be watching over your shoulder every week you're here. Tracy Smothers? Let me tell you something, son. I got nothing against you. At least not till now. Bring it on, son. We're coming after you with everything we got. You boys are going down and going down for good.